children, however, if it means being able to like eat cake and pizza every single weekend with like not a beer, vodka, soda, please, less calories, um, count me and I will do that. Guys, your next comedian is also a returning to Lit Flair. He's super funny. Please give it up for Ed! Woo! Another big hand for him. Wow, I'm 64 years old. That means when most of you turn 64, I'll be dead. <laughs> Which is cool. I'm part of the lost generation. The baby boomers. Our motto was sex, drugs, and rock and roll. So we were poking, token, and going to see the who in Hoboken. <laughs> but now we're older and we're more broken, still token, and coping with all our aches and pains. You know, getting older, it's not easy. You know, physically, you go through changes. It's like a second puberty. <laughs> and we all remember what a picnic puberty was, right? Yeah, second puberty, yeah. First, you know, your balls drop. <laughs> and then you develop man breasts, which now I've made myself very self-conscious of. <laughs> and you start growing hair in weird places, like your ears and your nose, your nostrils. Now, I'm an Italian-American man. If I let that manscaping go, I'm going to look like Chewbacca. <laughs> now, my parents' generation, they didn't care about that. They walked around looking like they had on earmuffs and a porcupine up each nostril. But we loved my Aunt Carmela, so we didn't say much about that. But the other part of getting older is you start having a lot more brain farts. Like, you know, you're walk, you walk into a room and you what the hell am I coming here for? <laughs> oh yeah, my glasses. Where the hell did I put my glasses? But what's worse is, like last week, I said to my daughter, I said, honey, who's that guy on that show, you know, that's on that channel I like? You know, and she rolls her eyes. She says, dad, Google it. So I'm Googling, who's the guy on the show? <laughs> and Google says, come on, Ed, you got to give us more than that. <laughs> But what's weird is that friends, people my age, they understand that. Like I said to my friend Charlie, I go, Chuck, you know, who's that guy I like who's on that show, on that channel? And he says, oh yeah, I know who you mean. His wife was in that movie with the people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and they had to go to that place. Yes, that's it. What's that guy's name? I don't know, Google. <laughs> But I don't want to leave you thinking that everything's bad about getting old. First of all, congratulations. You're still above ground. You've made it to the final phase of our game. And you get senior discounts, which is pretty sweet. And you get to retire. And when you retire, you get to do things like go on trips. My wife and I went to Vietnam. Beautiful people, wonderful country, great culture. But I couldn't stop thinking. It's like 45 years ago, I had cut off a toe not to get a free trip to Vietnam <laughs> from Uncle Sam. And you get to do whatever you want, whenever you want. If I want to have a glass of wine, you can have it whenever I want. If I want to go to the movies in the middle of the day, I can do it whenever I want. If I want to have sex, I can do it whenever I want. If I want to have sex, I can do it whenever my wife wants. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, you know, it's pretty great. But the best thing about retirement is you don't have to go to work. Well, gee, thanks, Ed. We couldn't have figured that out. You know, <laughs> retirement, no work. No, no, listen! <laughs> Jeez, I'm sorry. I just channeled my mother there. For a <laughs> is there's no more, like... Yeah, honey, we gotta go. I gotta get up early. Or no more hitting the snooze alarm like six times and then being late and some asshole boss has got to lecture you. But the best thing, the best thing is no more Sunday night blues or what the cool kids call now the Sunday scaries. <laughs> you know, you're coming off a great week at the beach or even just a nice weekend. And then Sunday night, 
Right around when 60 minutes comes on, you go, oh shit, fun's over. I gotta go to work tomorrow. Well, when you're retired, every night is Friday night, every day is Saturday, and the only reason Sunday exists is for God and the NFL. And not necessarily in that order. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. Googled it. Like, <laughs> I, I, I guess this is why we're a team. All right.